Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cbrev. Welcome to another episode of What Would Brev Do? Where we play an entire ranked game and I talk about what's going on in my head the entire time. Uh, today I'm going to be using an entire lineup and bench full of guys from the All-Star Game program. So that'll be fun. Uh, a lot of them are guys I think are pretty good. So should do pretty well in this gameplay. We're also going to be pitching with Castillo. Uh, last game we did Sandy, so... A little bit of a mini Sandy there. Obviously, the bullpen is not all all-star game people, um, but we will see what happens. I think this will be kind of a fun lineup to use. Um, hoping to pick up the rare round guys from the home run derby today, and then we should be able to get Jackie as well, so that's exciting. Um, haven't used some of these guys yet online as you could tell from the lack of parallel progress i haven't used jimenez personally yet although i think he looks really good and he's actually pretty good in this lineup too because we have more righties than lefties so uh, other guys i have used the j-rod has played really well for me dansby's been as advertised so hopefully we pop off uh excited to pitch with castillo too a lot of people have told me they Somewhat prefer Castillo over Sandy, which is interesting. Um, we'll see if I feel the same after this gameplay. Uh, but yeah, today is the big day, the roster overhaul. McCutcheon came out. We'll start grinding for him soon. It's an exciting day. We're cl I'm closer than I thought I was to McCutcheon, so hopefully I can get him like by the end of the week. We are facing Parallel 4, Mike Mucina. I don't think I've faced Mucina in over a month at least, so uh, we will probably need a couple innings to get adjusted. I personally, you know, I've gone on record saying before that I don't think Mucina is that hard to hit, uh, which means I'm going to get shut out in this gameplay now that I said it. But he does have him Parallel 4, so maybe he really likes him and maybe he uses him in a unique way. We'll see what happens. But we are the home team. So we will pitch first with Luis Castillo. This Jason Dominguez card has really impressed me as well. I saw seen a lot of people using him. Um, so kind of the same deal as Sandy, honestly. You got the circle change primary with Castillo specifically. That's definitely his best pitch is his changeup. Um, the way his arm angle and delivery looks, uh, Machado needs to charge that, please. All right, good thing he's got arm strength. <laughs> um, with his arm angle and such, Castillo, it seems like his changeup has a lot of downward movement, which is something I really liked. Uh, with Jackson Job, who is a card I used a ton uh, when he came out too. So I'm pretty excited about Castillo. His best pitches are absolutely changeup slider. Uh, even though he has the outlier sinker, you can see it doesn't have a ton of movement and the control is kind of sketchy. So... Uh, best advice I can give for pitching with Castillo is to pitch backwards, which I think most people do by default since, you know, he's got the primary changeup. And we are two up, two down here. Nice block by Wilson. And just kind of doing the thing. Uh, you'll see sometimes, too, I'll throw this four seam outside to lefties. I really like this pitch with pretty much everyone. Um... I throw it a little bit above the corner so that it prevents them from just jamming to the corner and squaring it up. Um, that swing was kind of interesting. I wonder if he has slowed his bat down for the off speed here. So we'll challenge him up and in. And he took it. So I don't know that he's even looking for fast stuff now. So we'll try to front door sinker. We'll see where his bat speed's at if he swings. He did not swing. And two strikeouts in the top of the first for Castillo. Absolutely dice this guy. So <laughs> we're excited so far. Um, Swanson leading off. Haven't used Harper yet either. That's another card I haven't gotten around to yet. He's hitting second for us. All right, Mucina. I kind of wish I was facing somebody else so that I could give a little bit more up-to-date <laughs> advice on like a pitcher that's being used a lot. But, uh, yeah, Mucina, big thing with Mucina is no change up, right? Um, so you're looking at sinker cutter a lot. His curveball is pretty easy to see out of the hand and pretty slow. So really it's just sinker cutter, which you see from a lot of guys. Uh, and specifically guys like Corbin that throw the same pitches but harder. When you go and face someone like Mucina, it just seems like it's a bit easier. Although we are late on the sinker there. I will say someone like Mucina is pretty good at pitching with the shift on, and I think most of my lineup gets shifted, so 
Hopefully we can, uh, at least versus righties anyway, hopefully we can get someone on base to get that shift off. But yeah, very, very uh, weird to face a guy that doesn't throw a changeup on this game. He's one of the few cards that has been higher overall that has had that happen to him that I can remember recently. Uh, another one that comes to mind is Walker Bueller never has a changeup usually. Um, it's definitely weird because changeup is one of the better pitches in the game. But as always, we're being patient early innings. Could have maybe swung at that third pitch, but wasn't really ready for it. And he tries the front door sinker on us. Uh, I think he's going to stick with the sinker, probably. He did not. Perfectly placed slider. Again, the shift killing us. <laughs> uh, we will go to bat with Manny here. Decent at bats so far, though. Maybe could have uh, swung a bit earlier in the count on both of them. Good mix up him from him here. Two cutters. I've been sitting sinker. See if he throws it with two strikes. Three cutters in a row. Does he make it four? That's just the easiest pitch pitch to see ever. <laughs> Never swinging at that. There's the sinker. Good play by him though. I'm gonna be out. That was a manual dive. And he got it. He was able to knock it down and throw me out. I, if somebody dives on me, I'm gonna be out. Is pretty much how this game goes for me lately. If it's not an auto dive, it's a manual dive that knocks the ball down. Good play though. That ball was smoked. We will go back to work with Luis. You can see I'm pitching inside a lot more with Luis than I was with Sandy, and I think it's just a product of. Uh, I don't think I face a lot of uh, right-handed batters, to be honest, as part of it. And also, Luis, you know, I definitely pitch backward a lot more with Luis than Sandy because I feel like his hard stuff isn't as good. Kind of getting a bit predictable with my sequencing, though. We'll try to bury a sinker here and see if we can get a ground ball. That was a bit too low. Escobar is pretty short, too, so after this we may elevate a four-seam. He's ended up stealing here. Good job by him. I might have been able to go to second there. Not sure. He was about three or four steps from the bag when I fielded the ball. I'll have to watch that back. Maybe that was a misplay. All right, I've gone slider after uh, circle change like every time, so I'm going to go sinker this time. Nice. Uh, then we'll just tunnel the change up in the same spot. Maybe he's early. Ooh. How does he not swing at that? Nice. Got him jammed up. Uh, Castillo throws his slider pretty hard, just like Sandy, too. So it's definitely not the worst pitch to throw, like, belt high or even up and into lefties, uh, assuming you can put it in the right spot. And I'm going to do that right here, try to get a contact out again. And he was late again. Yeah. The velo is just, it's really hard pitch to score up, especially if you haven't seen the ball up a lot. We've been pitching this guy down a ton, so. We give up the one hit, another cruising inning for uh, Luis, though. And we'll go with Miggy. Back to work against Mucina. Miggy does not get shifted, so maybe that'll help us out. And he goes sinker in again. So this is kind of, this is a single because Miggy is like 75 years old, but... Uh, this is just kind of what you get with Mike Messina, you know, sinkers and cutters. When you're right on right, they're going to throw you sinkers inside. So, first at bat with Jimenez. Decided to use this card. We get him against a righty, too, and we immediately, good, good, bounce into a fielder's choice. <laughs> a little bit on top of the ball. Jimenez flying, though. Not a lot of guys that wouldn't ground into a double play on that swing. You love to see it. See if he stays a little bit outside now that we've turned on a couple sinkers. Seems like he's making an adjustment to pitch me out. 3-1 here. I think I take this pitch and then send the runner 3-2. We'll see what he throws. 
de decent pitch to swing at. We'll send a runner here because we have a lot of speed. And we're able to get there. Sending the runner didn't matter much, but we get bailed out on the very early. And now we have an opportunity with Soto here. This is a big spot in the game. Sitting sinker. He threw me curveball. <laughs> Had good timing on it, or just early timing. So we're able to pull it down the line, take the lead. That's one thing about Mucina is you can sit sinker cutter, and if they throw you the curve, you have all day to react. I need to be pretty aggressive here, too, without his infield in. Because uh, a ground ball currently scores a run, whereas if he walks me, a ground ball does not score a run. That's not a ground ball, though. Wilson down the line will stop at first, and that is three to nothing. Another sinker inside. So we just take that pitch away from him, especially right on right, and it's pretty hard to have success with Mike. Um, this is another classic case of we'll probably strike out with our pitcher here, especially with Dansby on deck. Uh, just let him hit with two strikes. I don't want to bunt and do a double play, and I don't have enough speed to actually steal the base if I steal bunt and miss the bunt. So we'll just take our L there. And take some hacks with Dansby. He is most certainly going to throw us cutters outside. Or just pitch me outside in general, I suppose. Ooh, cutter in. That's actually a good adjustment. Same tunnel, but slower as the pitches I've been hitting. Wow, good pitch there. Bunch of stuff I was not looking for. But solid inning all around. Um, that Wilson Contreras at bat happens quite a bit. Uh, and more than you think it would. And the situation is eight hole hitter up with, you know, a runner in scoring position or um, in that case we had second and third one out and he didn't put his infield in. So that means if I hit a routine ground ball at somebody, the runner's going to score from third base. Um, whereas if he walks me, it's going to be bases loaded one out. Then he gets to pitch to my pitcher, which most likely leads to bases loaded two outs. And then now if I hit a routine ground ball, I can't score. Um, so it's important to be pretty aggressive in that spot and put the ball in play, which we did, and luckily we even got a single out of it. So that was the thought process there, and it comes up quite a bit uh, with your eight-hole hitter. Kind of just throwing the same sequences over and over. So I think second time through the order, we'll start to mix it up. I think against lefties, I'm going to start pitching uh, more inside and do less first pitch change-ups. Maybe that means we feature a slider more. So we'll start that here with Dominguez. And Tunner the slider off that, off the plate. See if we get a, can get a swing, and then we'll change up down and in. Can't really tell if he wanted to swing at that or not, because he got the bailout animation. He did want to swing at it. Okay, so now we'll tunnel that slider with a changeup that hopefully can catch the low and end corner here. Beautiful pitching, man. <laughs> Maybe Castillo is the truth. I will say the control I've had on my pitches with this card, specifically the changeup, has been extremely pinpoint. Uh, despite the size of the par, it seems like my changeups have pretty much gone exactly where I've wanted them to all game so far. Maybe it's because my confidence is high already, but... Liking what I'm seeing from Castillo for sure. All right, shift on. So we're looking for stuff outside, specifically sinkers that we can go the other way with. And that's a pitch we'll have to keep an eye on. He's already caught us looking once with that four-seamer low. Beautiful pitching from him. I got to get the bat off my shoulder, to be honest. I probably won't do much with that pitch with the shift on, but... I just got to be ready to hit it, to be honest. I can't keep striking out looking with a pitcher that doesn't really fool me too bad. But uh, our opponent's making good adjustments pitcher-wise. He's featuring a lot more four-seamers now, um, pitching outside more than he was earlier in the game, so props to him. We will try to make an adjust adjustment off of that, and you can see every time he's going sinker inside right on right, we're pulling it foul or we're squaring it up, so... We're really making it a point to just take the pitch away from him, and that really opens up our options. Does he cut this off? He does. That opens up our options in our at-bats because, you know, if we're able to take that pitch away, he's going to throw it a lot less often, and that lets us focus on the stuff that goes outside and glove side. 
That's a line out, I think. That is big tough. <laughs> I probably hit that ball 110. How hard was that hit? Dear God. 108 off the bat. Yikes. And then I swing over the top and get bailed out. I don't know what's going on here, dude. We'll stop it first as well. I should have made it out on that swing and should have got a single on the Miggy swing. All right. He's probably going to go outside again here. Huh. Is he autopiloting? That was such a weird pitch to throw. That's the pitch we got to look out for. We got lucky we didn't get caught looking again. Go with the cutter. Did we get all of it? J-Rod. It's gone. Not the best swing. <laughs> I don't know how I got enough of that to hit it out, Oppo, to be honest. But J-Rod's a glitch, I guess. Only 87 power on that swing on the cutter off the plate. We really should have struck out looking there. That's a tough break for him. And it just goes to show, like, you can tell yourself to make adjustments, but sometimes you just still don't. Like, I told myself not to get rung up by that pitch and still did. And then got lucky that it wasn't a strike. But this inning is spiraling fast. Uh, based on how tilted he probably is, I'm probably getting a sinker in here. And it's my eight-hole hitter again, so we'll sit on it. It ended up spinning middle, middle with the cutter. I don't think we're going to score on this, unfortunately. Dang. If this was a tournament, I'd think about pinch hitting here, to be honest. To just, like, put put a dagger in the game. But obviously, with, you know, the fact that I have to <laughs> use my bullpen in other games in ranked seasons, I'm not going to pinch hit, obviously. Maybe Castillo can get it done. Great game from Wilson Contreras, though. Great game from everyone, honestly, so far. Except for Miguel Cabrera and his 108-mile-an-hour line out. <laughs> Get through? Aw. Great inning again. We're up 6 nothing. We have a nice amount of runs and hits. And Castillo's absolutely dealing. So shutdown inning here is going to be crucial to keep the momentum. And then we'll look to score four in the bottom of the fourth and maybe get out of here. Again, we're trying to mix it up with our sequencing based on what we did first time through the order. Lots of, lots of change-ups away and just in general pitching backwards the first time through. So we're trying to keep him honest and throw different stuff now. I am going to bury a changeup here, though. It's a pitch I've gotten him to chase at least once so far this game, and I've got some balls to work with, so we'll try it. Didn't go for it. We'll try the slider mid off the plate now, too, since it tunnels with the up and in stuff. Good take from him, and now even though I kind of want to feature more hard stuff, we're going to go back to the changeup since it's the pitch I trust the most, 3-2. And I don't really want to walk him. No reason to give him any uh, leeway here. We'll go change up middle out again. Ooh, I messed up the pinpoint. He swung. <laughs> Dang it. I should have walked him there anyway, but good swing. We'll try the... Uh, Sinker below the knees again. See if we can get a double play real quick. Not really sure how he's feeling as a hitter or what he's looking for. He hasn't told me a lot of information so far this inning. Hmm. Dang. Well, now we're locked in a spot where he knows we're throwing a change up. And we'll go sinker out this time since he was ready for the change up last time. He was late there. Uh, I think we'll tunnel. No, we won't tunnel. We'll just go up and enforce him, challenge him. He's late again. Hmm. We'll go up and out this time. This is the tunnel I was going to do with the sinker last pitch. And he's all over it. Great at bat from him, honestly. Back to back, good at bats. <laughs> Putting two runs on the board. Making me sad because the mercy rule's out of reach a little bit more now. Great at bat, though. Nothing to say, really. I threw all the pitches I wanted to throw there. Maybe I should have gone with that. 
Instead, I wish Swisher did that instead of Ortiz. <laughs> We'd have two outs and be up 6 nothing. Oh well. He still has kind of a fast bat, despite how many change-ups we've been throwing and stuff. I don't know, it kind of varies pitch to pitch. Can't really figure him out this inning. I'm going to go up and in change up here. I wonder if Castillo has the control to make this pitch effective. It's pretty good. When you throw that pitch, you're looking to get people swinging early, obviously, on pitches that look like up and in fastballs. We're throwing some dots, and he is fighting them off. This is kind of a dangerous pitch against a guy with dead red. Good thing he took it. Dude's randomly locked in this inning. And that's in the gap. Man. Dude turned it on this inning. Let's see if we can not let him catch all the way up. <laughs> that would be nice. This is kind of this kind of sucks though. The way he has his lineup set up is kind of tough for a right-handed pitcher. I feel like almost every at bat has been versus a lefty hitter. Bit unfortunate for us. All right, five strikeouts. See if we can get him to roll over another sinker like he did with Ortiz. And we can get out of here, hopefully, with it only being 6-2. to two. Gonna try that up and in change up again. That's just gross. <laughs> Yo, if Castillo can pitch with the accuracy he's been pitching with with that change up, this card is really nasty. I do feel like he has better control on the changeup than Sandy does, I will say that. Alright, he's pitching us outside, so we're just looking for stuff outside with the shift on. Nice little leadoff single from Dansby. Hopefully we can just hit a moonshot with Harper here and get those two runs back ASAP. Another four seam down and away. He's really liking that pitch. Again, we'll have to look for it with two strikes specifically. Going to be tough here, though, because I don't want to swing at a sinker down there if I can help it. These are some insane takes. <laughs> Got to imagine he's going four seam low and away here now. He went sinker. We were early there and still hit it up the middle, thankfully. That's pretty much the only spot he's going to pitch me there, though, is low and away. It's, he's had the most success there by far. Again, looking for low and away. Got to stay off the sliders and cutters, though. I think we just get beat by a sinker in. It's fine. We've turned on it enough times this game where I think we can let it go and hope he doesn't throw it. Dang. It's crazy. He's still trying to make that work. <laughs> it worked that time, I guess. Woo. I'm kind of all over the place this inning. That's through. We score as well. 85 speed. Not my best PCI placement ever. Scored a lot of runs on bad PCI placement, but the approach has been good. He's pitching us outside a lot. Let's see if Jimenez can make this 10 2. This is a great spot for us. We got the lefty righty matchup. Two, run two runners on. I think that's getting caught. Dang. With his momentum going the other way, we can tag up at least, but that ball was smoked as well. <laughs> Another hard hit line out. 101 on that one. And we choke. Only score one there. 
Oh, J-Rod beats it out. We are getting so bailed this game, dude. <laughs> Yikes, man. Oh, no. All right, Contreras can do the walk-off Mercy Grand Slam here. Go for the three for three. Let's make it happen, dude. A swing as over the top as you can possibly swing. I think I'm too under it. Get out. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. We go to the fifth. 13 hits. A lot of them undeserved. I wish I had an opportunity to pitch to more righties with Castillo too, so you guys can see how the sequencing works, but it just has, hasn't happened. Obviously, uh, people are going to be expecting the sinker in on the hands a lot, so I think featuring front door sliders and also change-ups like low and in are pretty decent. When I tr throw the change-up low and in, I try not to do it in the strike zone, though. That was way too much of the plate. And that's an unfortunate spot to throw an 0-2 pitch. I maybe should have tried to bury one there. The high slider was a bit cute, probably. Our opponent's sticking with it. I feel like I've been pitching really well, though. It's kind of a bummer that we've given up three runs. Just two good swings, really. That was... Definitely an avoidable one. If I could go back, I'd throw a different pitch there for sure. Quick check to make sure I'm recording and my mic is on. <laughs> that has definitely happened before. Oh, I don't know where his PCI was on that. He barely got any of it. Hmm. I wonder if we're just running out of stuff that fools this guy. What adjustment do I need to make? Try this pitch again, see if we can snatch a double play. He somehow elevates it 390 to center field. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm happy that didn't leave. Good swing. That's right where I wanted that pitch, though. Late set of good. Again, that slider in, kind of hard to hit. Uh, I think we might pinch hit Castillo next inning. He's already approaching 70 or 80 pitches, and our opponent has really seen him a lot better these last couple innings. Also, he's like, we'll try to see if we can make it so not every at bat is at a disadvantageous handedness. <laughs> it's kind of hard to, especially when you only have four pitches, it's kind of hard to fool somebody over the course of an entire game when... Every at bat is right on left, essentially, or left on right. Try this up and in change up one more time. Hopefully, this doesn't burn us. Oh, yeah, that pitch is gross. Maybe I just throw that more. I don't know. I am in a pinch hit though. Might seem kind of weird up five, but I think he's made it pretty clear that he's not really fooled by this pitcher anymore. So we'll go with Arias off the bench. To get him out of the way, since I'm actually guaranteed to, to not have to hit left on left with him here. And green, pretty much the same thing as Mucina, except actually has a changeup. So we'll see how he varies his uh, pitching here. Castillo into... I think we go Devin. Devin Hader seems good. Something not sinker oriented, just to give him a bit of a mix up. There's the change up. I think this guy in general is more focused on trying to get me to 
trying to strike me out looking than he is to try to get me to chase. So we'll try to be a bit more aggressive with two strikes. And that's a perfectly placed slider though. Did get me to chase. I feel like I need to score. For some reason, even though I'm up five, it feels like the momentum's on his side. Another hit against the shift. I love Dan's being the leadoff man. Unfortunately, when he gets parallel three, the shift goes away automatically. So he'll be at 86 speed. So we'll see how that differs. Maybe I won't bat him lead off after that, but it's crazy how many people will just throw you stuff outside and you just get cheap singles all day with Dansby. Again, we're being conscious of the four-seamer low and away, and we're really trying not to get struck out looking here. He went up and in change up. <laughs> He's like, that's a pretty good pitch. I'm late there. But we put it in the gap. He cuts this off. We don't score. Just kidding. He fell down. So we score. Harper with the RBI double. Absolutely love to see it. Another swing that wasn't really great. But I will take it. And he goes inside again. So, yeah. I mean, this is kind of a key to success against almost any pitcher. But right on right, taking away the hard stuff in is absolutely crucial. Just can't let him keep getting away with it. He's still trying, which is wild. He might just be checked out. Who knows? There's Miggy. <laughs> that one had a bit better launch angle than the one earlier in the game. I guess we've got the momentum back, dude. Oh, so early there. Yeah, going green after Mucina, I don't know how good that is. You can see how many sinkers, cutters he's throwing. Hasn't thrown a ton of change-ups. really just feel like I'm facing the same pitcher twice in a row, which is something I typically talk about. I try to... When I go to the bullpen, I try to, like, vary the type of pitcher that I'm using from inning to inning. So, like, I wanted to go Devin Williams or Josh Hader myself next inning as more of a mix-up to... Castillo, who throws really hard. J-Rod could go four for four here. A ball in the gap is probably GG's. Good tunnel there. Swung for the sinker. Got the sinker. Through the left side, how many hits is that? 16? And we're already planning on taking Castillo out, so this is great. Imagine Arias gets up again. <laughs> I don't actually... It is possible. Two out spaces loaded, he could get up. Get through. We score 92 speed here. That is going to be game. We popped off. Like I said, sorry I didn't get a face more of like a, I guess a meta pitcher in this one, but the team full of, the lineup full of all-stars popping off. Hopefully you guys learned something. J-Rod four for four with four ribbies. Miggy three for four with a jack. Soto was three for three. Harper two for four. I don't know who's going to be on the thumbnail. We had 20 hits in five innings and the fifth inning wasn't even over with. <laughs> Pretty good stuff, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something. Till next time, take care. We'll see you then.